This video focuses on political ideology. So like you might be most accustomed to thinking about ideology in terms of like, hey, what political party do you most closely identify with? Are you a Republican? Do you tend to be more conservative? Are you a Democrat? Do you tend to be more liberal? Are you something else? So when we talk about ideology, we're just talking about the values, principles, and beliefs shared by some sort of like smaller group that can end up being a lot of people. So it's how we can categorize people's like political thought. Um, so this is a political spectrum that I'm going to use uh, to illustrate where kind of people fall in terms of their political thought processes. So uh, a political spectrum is simply a model that's used by political scientists to basically highlight the range of attitudes and opinions that people have about politics. So the way that you interpret this one is if you look at the bottom of the uh, square here, this is the range of economic freedom. The further you go down to the right, the more economic freedom those people desire, which means like the least amount of government regulation we want of the economy. As we look at sort of like the, the, uh, the axis here, it says personal freedom. The higher you go up, the more personal freedom those individuals desire and the less regulation people want of like the, the government involvement in like regulating personal freedoms. So again, that's how you interpret like the political spectrum. So we're going to look at the conservative ideology first that we most often associate with Republicans. If you look where the conservatives fall, they fall in the bottom right hand corner of our political spectrum. So as you can see, it's closer to the higher end of economic freedom. So conservatives tend to support greater economic freedom in society, which means they want less government involvement in the economy. They want less government regulation. Um, they rather have um, less government involvement. Um, if you look at where conservatives fall on the axis of personal freedom, they're again closer to the bottom of personal freedom. So they're in favor of perhaps like less personal freedoms and a little bit more like government involvement in the regulation of personal freedoms. So if you look at like an issue like abortion, conservatives tend to be more um, supportive um, of government regulation of abortion or other social issues. Conservatives may favor greater government regulation and greater government involvement. So that's where conservatives fall, at least on the political spectrum that I'm using to illustrate this point. Liberals, if you look, are in the upper left-hand corner. So on this uh, axis of economic freedom, they tend to be like towards the, the part that's like less economic freedom. So liberals tend to support less economic freedom, which essentially means that government is supported to be or expected to be more involved in the regulation of the economy, whether it's like establishing minimum wage laws or greater regulation and oversight, higher taxes of business and corporate profits, right? Um, there is greater acceptance of government regulation and government involvement. Um, so that's kind of where liberals fall on the economic part of the spectrum. In terms of personal freedoms, you'll see that they enjoy greater degrees of personal freedoms or would, would rather enjoy greater uh, personal freedom and would like government to regulate that less, right? So clearly liberals would oppose government um, restrictions uh, on abort abortion rights, right? So again, you, you see that difference, right? Like the less economic freedom but uh, and more government involvement in the economy but stressing more personal freedoms, which means less government regulation of personal freedoms and conduct. And then the third ideology that has been on the AP test in the past is the idea of libertarians. Like what is the libertarian ideology all about? And you'll notice that libertarians are on the high end of economic freedom and the high end of uh, personal freedom. So the bottom line uh, is what makes a libertarian a libertarian is libertarians generally support less government involvement across the board. They want greater economic freedom. They want greater personal freedom, which means they want less government regulation of the economy and they want less government regulation of personal conduct and personal freedoms. It doesn't mean they're anarchists. They just believe that the, the least amount of government possible would be the best government, right? So less government involvement, less government regulation across the board. Um, in terms of like the positives of focusing on ideology, 
Look, it definitely has a place. It helps people find others that think like them. What party best represents my interests? Uh, it definitely helps guide people in their political decision-making process. Not only what party am I going to join when I register to vote, but uh, who am I going to vote for? What candidates and their ideas best reflect my own personal thought process about government? So it's kind of like a GPS politically. It gets you in the neighborhood of being able to make decisions uh, or align you with people that will make decisions that most correspond to your personal belief system. The negative functions of ideology is that it definitely in modern times, when especially the media, we focus so much on ideology and political differences that it does have the ability, especially when there's only two major ideologies in this country. There are lots of different ways to think, but we only have two parties that really reflect ideologies, right? Libertarians are a party, but they're, they're definitely a minority party, a third party. They don't have a ton of political power in this country. It's mostly Republicans, conservatives, and Democrats, liberals that have most of the power. So when you really have two choices, it really tends to divide into two groups. And that's what political polarization is. It's sort of like forcing people to the extremes and having two different schools of thought. So the idea of focusing on ideology definitely has a tendency to divide people.